Scotch Symphony was choreographed by George Balanchine to the music of Mendelssohn. The ballet Scotch Symphony was choreographed by George Balanchine as a work that provides an easy accessibility for the audience. It is a work that is perfectly placed as a program opener. Ballets like these are often referred to as novelties. Novelties that provide a light variety and they program well against more complex pieces. Here, Balanchine evokes the uniqueness, sweep, and abundance inherent in the Highland landscape. As points of departure, Balanchine uses the atmosphere of the music combined with the familiar romantic tradition of the 19th century. The opening choreography is for eight couples, touching on Scottish dance themes and styles. These eight couples are joined by a Scots lassie who spurs the ground with her steely points. A mysterious newcomer suddenly enters. The ensemble greets him. They then abruptly depart, leaving our male protagonist alone on an empty stage. The mood and style change. A sense of poetry prevails as a sylph-like figure appears. She initiates an extended pas de deux with the newcomer, wherein ambiguities abound and mystery tantalizes. Who is this young laird roaming through an impossibly romantic gloaming? Or who is the sylph who begins a gentle seduction of this stranger? Their dancing is intermittently interrupted by an escort, a contingent of Her Majesty's Highlanders. She remains unattainable until she relents and is carried off by the stranger. The plot now fades into oblivion as the third movement takes over, but the romantic mood and formalities remain. This is a very sweet and winning work, beautifully made and beautifully produced, as the finale brings together all of the elements previously articulated. It is a lovely and poetic conception with tender sensibilities and a dramatic abstraction. This is a ballet that hints at much, but explains little typically Balanchinian, agreeably indefinite. Promethean Fire, choreographed by Paul Taylor to the music of Bach. After the attack and destruction of New York City's World Trade Center in 2001, various artists internationally felt a need to respond to this world-changing event with their own impressions and comments. In Promethean Fire, Paul Taylor has provided us with a masterwork of impressions. Set to three keyboard works by Bach, as richly orchestrated by Leopold Stokowski, Promethean Fire examines a kaleidoscope of emotional colors in the human condition. All 16 dancers, costume in black, weave in and out of intricate patterns that mirror the way varied senses and feelings weave themselves through life. A central pas de deux depicts conflict and resolution following a cataclysmic event. But if destruction has been at the root of this dance, renewal of the spirit is its overriding message. It has grandeur, majesty, and a spiritual dimension. The dancers are building blocks in the human cathedral that Mr. Taylor constructs uncannily and perfectly with such powerful emotional 
residence. This is a work that captivates audiences, challenges the dancers, and showcases their strengths and versatility. It is also one of the best dance works choreographed by Paul Taylor. A program note quotes Shakespeare from Otello. Promethean fire that can thy light reloom. Nine Sinatra songs, choreographed by Twyla Tharp, the music by Arlen, Mercer, Kahn, Van Heusen, et al. Sung by Frank Sinatra. This is a very American ballet about love and relationships. Tharp herself described the ballet as a long string of gorgeous romantic duets. Tharp uses the choreographic discipline of ballroom dancing for her point of departure. I saw it through without exception. I planned each chart of course, each careful step along the byway. Within the seven duets, the choreography expresses Sinatra's breathing and phrasing. We are made aware of innocence, seduction, an intense intimacy, couples splitting apart and coming back together, leaving to find out how to get back together, and finally arriving at a state of comfort, stability, commitment, and trust. We also see an exhibition couple in competition, a fake fight with a give as well as take. We begin to realize the ballet traces the arc of a fully lived relationship with the couple arriving perhaps at their 50th wedding anniversary at the end of the piece.